Hello and welcome everyone. I am Manic Mink. This is Europa Universalis 4. Um, this is kind of a uh, intro video, I suppose. Preview, intro, get your opinion sort of video uh, in which we talk about what we're going to do. Um, this is, I guess, the 13th of January, so the day before um, the Conquest of Paradise or the Paradise Lost or the... Conquest of Paris, whatever the hell the expansion is. The Native American expansion, more or less. Uh, I know that there's a bunch of changes to, like, Castile and Portugal and your, your typical sort of colonizers and colonizing itself, but if we're honest, most of the changes come to uh, our, our friends here in Native America, or in, uh, in, in Native America, um, uh, the Native American sort of tribes uh, and peoples uh, in North and South America. Uh, so that's who I kind of want to play as. The thing is, I've looked around, there's not, there's not really that many achievements for it. So my typical sort of play till you get an achievement, then end the series there thing doesn't quite work, I guess, as well. I mean, there's the Aztec, uh, Conquer Everybody Over Here achievement. Uh, I seem to remember there being a Cherokee, uh, Survive Until the End of the Game achievement or something. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, there's, point being, there's not a lot of, uh, real sort of achievements going on here. Um, the thing is, is that these are people that, you know, I want to play as them, so, uh, I'm kind of trying to get your guys' opinion. Um, there's sort of two, I guess, two aspects to my understanding. There's the larger sort of Aztec, Zaptec, Maya, Cherokee Creek. Uh, those kind of peoples, um, who, you know, they have, uh, there's essentially a lot more incentive in terms of, like, things to do instead of you don't do anything for about 200 years. You can actually, you know, build buildings and set up your civilization and actually improve your tech and things like that. Uh, there's also going to be the addition of a ton of, uh, single, or, uh, well, I guess a ton of other Native American tribes, because obviously it wasn't just like, oh, there's three of them in North America, and that's it. You know, there were there were tons of them all over, and, um, I guess, uh, what they're going to be doing is adding a bunch of them in. There's going to be some more, uh, larger groups as well, and again, the emphasis on them is more of, uh, actually playing. You know, you, you build up your civilization, you build buildings, you, you know, trade, you establish trade routes and technology and sort of all that fun stuff in preparation for the Euro Europeans to uh, sort of make their way over here. Uh, and the others are single or double province little, uh, little sort of one province miners who have a very interesting system in which you sort of migrate. Uh, and you can migrate every couple years and enhance your tech and things like that. So I'm kind of trying to figure out whether I want to play somebody a bit bigger, you know, Aztec, Cherokee, whoever, or one of the smaller people and experience a new migration sort of system. Uh, in addition to both of those, uh, there's the randomize new world button that will, I guess, show up over here uh, that, you know, isn't isn't there now. You can't you can't see that. Uh, there's no, no randomize new world button. Uh, and that sort of makes basically the entire new world completely random. We have no idea what it looks like, no idea, you know, you can't just go, oh, well, I'll go to, you know, go to Chesapeake Bay, and that's where my trade per that's where my trade thing will be, and Manhattan will be the center of my trade. And, well, the quickest way there from Europe is to just straight across to... It doesn't work like that anymore, um, if that makes sense to you. Uh, it's essentially, it completely randomizes everything so that, you know, when you set out from the old world, uh, and sail over here to start, you know, colonizing, you have no, you know, we don't go, okay, well, the closest province to the tip of, uh, tip of South America are these ones, so that's where we want to go. You know, it could be there, it could be the province, the continent starts up here, it could be, it's all islands up here. Could be anything, we don't know. That's kind of the the gist of the um, you know the whole uh, what the hell was I saying uh, the new 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 world the new new world 
uh, which just spits ice balls at you. No, that's a League of Legends reference. It's not real, I promise. Uh, so I don't... I don't really know what to do uh, or who to play as uh, in terms of this. So that's what I'm wanting your... Well, I don't know. I'll, I'll tell you the reason why I'm maybe not sure if I want to do the new new world is that you could end up with like a three prov you could end up on a three province island with two other people, in which case you basically do nothing the entire game, uh, or you could end up you know out here in the middle of nowhere and then you get a lot of fun to sort of expand and explore and look around. Uh, so that's sort of that's sort of the question I'm posing to you. Uh, do you want me to? Question the first. Do you want me to play as a larger sort of uh, stable? No, oh, nah, stable's not the right word. Uh, a larger sort of established country, uh, you know, and form tribal alliances and, you know, trade and stuff like that? Or would you rather I play as an individual, uh, one of these sort of individual county people who, you know, ups, uh, up and moves around a lot? Um... I'm tempted to play as one of the smaller individual county people, because uh, it just seems weird to go, like, let's up and move your civilization every, you know, however many years. Uh, but I think it's also really cool to do that. So, that's kind of, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Um, I want to know your opinion, uh, what you want me to play as. Um, I'm not going to play as the Europeans right now just because there's, you know, I get so bogged down in Europe that it's like getting around to actually colonizing uh, is almost impossible for me. Uh, though that being said, I will play a game as one of the European powers at some point and start, you know, do the whole colonization thing. And in that one, I'll definitely do the New World. So, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to do New World? Do you want me to not do New World? Do you want me to play as an individual county person and uh, experience the moving around part? Or do you want me to play as, uh, you know, uh, an established people already in place and just kind of try to exist? Um, and in terms of ending, ending goals, I don't really know. Um, Debating maybe, like, you know, contact with the Europeans is when we'll end, or at some time when I get bored, or at, like, episode 40 or something, you know, end at some point, because we don't really have an achievement, I don't really have a set end point to, uh, to wrap up at. So those are the questions. Who do I play as? Uh, do I do New World? Uh, or Renew New World? Uh, let me know in the comments, please. Uh, we're going to be starting this, I guess, tomorrow, so hopefully you guys will actually see this and respond in time. And if you don't, I'm just going to make it up as I go along. Uh, so yeah, let me know, uh, and we'll we'll figure it out from there. Looking forward to this. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, I'm Manic Mink. This is Europa Universalis 4. Take care.